Hello everyone, welcome back to So You Think You Want to Coach. My name is Durante Polite, collegiate women's basketball coach, and I'm excited to be back with you. I told you my goal was to be more consistent, and so here we are. My thing I want to challenge you with, when you first get into this thing, master something. Find something that you know and you know really, really well. Now, I would like to say find like a continuity offense and learn that continuity offense really, really well. Um, you know, but you can dive in on defense too. And again, I am not against defense, but the purpose of the game is to score the basketball. You got to actually score in order to win the game. Um, now this could be a little bit more difficult if you're an assistant coach. I would say if you're an assistant coach, whatever your head coach, whatever you run, dive into that, know it inside and out, like become like an expert in it. Um, if you're a head coach, again, um, also, if you're an assistant coach, find another avenue. Like, you know, if you coach middle school as an assistant, then maybe in the summertime or rec league or something, become a head coach. Um, if you have the time in order to do that so that you can dive into like maybe it's the office that you want to run um, or something like that. So head coach, again, you know, you want to find a, 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 a offense and I would say a continuity offense because you really want your players to learn how to play the game, right? Not just run a bunch of plays, but actually, you know, be able to read the defense, be able to play off of their teammates and things like that. Um, but if you can learn a system and really have it down pat, know the ins and outs, I mean, you talking about um, opening up opportunities for you to speak at clinics um, for you to be able to move on in your career. Um, but then just, you know, helping yourself as a coach and, uh, you want to try to get to where like you're the expert, like people will call you when they're trying to understand how to run this particular offense. Um, you want people from all different levels to be reaching out to you. And so that's what you want to try to get to, um, to where, you know, something in and out, you almost become synonymous with that particular offense, you know, like Bobby Knight in the motion offense, right? You want to become synonymous with it. Um, now, I will say from a from a uh, continuity standpoint, like I'm big on the European ball screen. That's that's my thing. When I was in high school, uh, when I was coaching high school, I used to run like a bunch of plays, and then I just dove into the European ball screen, and I was like, I want these young ladies to understand how to play basketball, and not just how to run plays. Um, be able to read the defense. And I think with a continuity, you get a little bit, like you get you get control too as a coach because you it's kind of set up uh, depending on what you're running, but then you teach them to make the reads and then they just play. And my mindset is always, whatever the defense does, it's a mistake. But for me, like I dove into the European ball screen. I, I was tired. I didn't want us to just be running plays. Um, I wanted us to, wanted my young ladies to understand how to play the game, be able to read the defense and things like that. And again, I got a little bit of control too, too because we were set, in, set up in particular spots. And so everyone, it was easy for everyone to kind of get back to where they needed to be if uh, things went wrong. And so that's kind of been my thing. Um, and I was, you know, I've been fortunate to, even when I joined the program I'm with now, they run the European ball screen. And so I was able to bring in some things right away. Um, so, yeah, but I like uh, move a blocker. Actually, you know, we have a team in our league that runs move a blocker. So look that up. Like if you're a young coach, that looks like a fun offense that, you know, if I had seen it back in the day, maybe that's one I would have jumped into. Um, I know my high school coach, he has gotten into the read and react. He's really big into that. We ran a motion offense when I was in high school, but he's all about read and react right now. Um, and then, of course, a lot of people, they do dribble drive. I am... I am not against dribble drive. I just think you got to have the personnel in order to run it. Uh, it does put a lot of pressure on the defense. Um, but yeah, like find something. Again, you want to flip to the defensive side. Maybe like you're the press master, right? Maybe like you run, you got all the pressure, the, the presses to put a team in trouble or you understand the philosophy of playing high pressure defense or maybe it's a zone. Like think about coaches who are synonymous with particular strategies. Um, and so I think you want to try to hit on that as early as possible. Not saying you might, not saying you're going to be this mo this most well known coach, but maybe you end up being that, right? Or maybe you be the like I said, the go to in your area. But find something and look to really master it. 
Um, it's we're in the information a, information age. It's so many videos on YouTube that can help you with things. Again, I I always said I want to say in one of my first videos, you know, take other people's ideas, mesh it with your own, uh, and to and to make it your own, make it and make it yours. Um, so again, find something to master, whatever it is, but master. Put a lot of time, energy, and effort into it. You know, we, we talk to our players about, you know, we have players that can shoot. We have players that can uh, score their back to the basket. We have players that can handle the ball and get downhill. We got players that have great vision. Like, players have a lot of different things, a lot of different, and, and we tell them, like, hone in on your strengths. So as a coach, you got to find your strength, you, and you got to find something to hone in on. And maybe you're the coach that's known for this particular offense. Or you're the coach that's known for that that particular thing. And it'll help you as you go throughout your career. And it'll help you have that confidence as a coach. Like, hey, I might not know that, but I do know this. Um, and, of course, there are things where, you, you know, you got to be able to relay that information onto your players so that they're able to understand and execute it as well. But uh, for today, again, find something that you want to, that you really like, and then go about mastering it. Do everything you can, hone in on it. You want to learn a lot of different things, but hone in on something so that you'll be um, kind of known for that and, and be able to take that expertise to a lot of different areas. All right? Um, so, yeah, got this out of the way. Like I said, I want to keep these short. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And um, we'll be back soon. All right, have a good one.